From the creators of Searching comes Missing. Okay, well, I suppose the filmmakers certainly found a gimmick. When I first saw the trailer for Missing, I thought it looked fine, but I was like, okay, this looks like the directors simply remade their own movie. It is another desktop missing person thriller, only here, instead of the parent looking for their missing kid, it's the kid looking for their mother. But, pretty much at the beginning of the film, I was instantly okay with it. Because the movie is kind of a standalone sequel. The opening directly references the events of the first movie. And even in the background of some scenes, there's references to the same news stories that were going on in the background of the first. I do like some other extra touches they add here, like incorporating true crime series by showing a true crime doc reenactment of the first film. I like how the case in this film gets blown up to being a national news story with 24-hour news coverage and even a segment where TikTok sleuths kind of bungle things a little. Like with the first, the editing here is excellent, and they really keep things engaging and moving at a pretty good pace. What really helps all of that is how good the casting is. The actors do nail their roles, and with it being about Storm Reed looking for a missing parent, it could also be in the Wrinkle in Time universe. They do such a great job with the directing, the editing, and the acting that there will be sequences where two characters get to know each other via video messaging, and they still have great chemistry with each other. The standout character is Joaquim de Almeida, who plays an errand guy in Colombia who Storm Reed hires to check up on some stuff. And he really steals his scenes. He's not only excellent here, but it is great seeing him in a very relatable, regular guy role like this. There are some genuinely surprising turns that it takes. Now granted, while a few of the twists caught me off guard a little, there are some that certainly didn't. One of my least favorite movie cliches is when someone correctly guesses someone's password. Only here, they do that well and make it believable. What isn't believable is that she didn't figure out a major password sooner. Even I did about an hour before the character did. There's also some character revelations where I was like, okay, this person is going to turn out to be this person. I do remember searching, getting a little far-fetched near the end, and wow, is that the case here. When it gets to the climax, it's a bit much. It makes it feel like a desktop Lifetime movie. I was sitting there like, this is a really elaborate plan for what the explanation is. And it keeps going for a while to where I was like, okay, this needs to wrap it up before it finds a way to get sillier. That said, though, it's still a very entertaining film, and you really are with these characters trying to figure the mystery out. Searching is probably a little better, but they're pretty on par with each other, so if you liked one, you'll probably like the other. I'm curious what the writers and the directors do next, in case they want to expand more on this world. I'll give it a B, because even the last act certainly isn't boring. Thanks for watching, everyone, and be sure to subscribe to our Movie Reviews of 2023 playlist, where you can keep up to date on all the movies we'll be reviewing this year, and we'll see you next time.